Since the pandemic started, we've seen a decrease in emergency department visits, and this is quite concerning. Now, we do know that there are fewer people getting sick because we're wearing masks, so they're not getting the diseases that they normally get like influenza, RSV, common colds, etc. However, some of our concern exists because we're afraid that people aren't seeking care when they need it. We've seen plenty of cases where people are having a heart attack or a stroke and they delay seeking care for hours or even days. And I can't express enough how important it is that you seek care as fast as possible. Symptoms of stroke most commonly are facial droop, vision loss, arm weakness, but they can also be very deceiving. Sometimes they can be confusion or dizziness or even lightheadedness. So it's important that if you think that these might be symptoms of stroke, that you get to the emergency department as fast as possible. Well, there's several procedures that we can perform or medicines that we can give to a patient if they're suffering from a heart attack or stroke. And the thing is, the longer that the stroke is going on or the heart attack, they both involve a blocked blood vessel. And it's important and critical, in fact, that we get that vessel open as fast as possible, either using medicines or a procedure. And so the longer you wait, the longer that blood vessel is blocked, and the more damage is done. So with heart attacks, what our goal is, is to get uh, do what's called a cardiac catheterization. And that's where we run a wire down one of the blood vessels into the heart and actually into the blocked blood vessel and open that up. And so it's imperative that you get in here and as quickly as possible so that procedure can be performed. Similarly, in a stroke, you get a blockage in a vessel there, but instead of running a, a catheter or a wire down that vessel, we give you a medication called TPA. And that medication dissolves clots and the most important thing is that we give that as soon as possible because time is limited and if it's over a certain amount of time we can't give that medication and then the damage is done so if you think that you're having a stroke any symptoms whatsoever it's imperative that you get here as quickly as possible so we can determine if indeed it is a stroke and if it is we need to start that medication as quickly as possible and the thing about the emergency department is extremely safe. The rooms are cleaned, we wear masks, patients wear masks, the chance of you getting any sort of disease such as COVID or anything else is basically zero. Our air is circulated heavily, our rooms are negative pressure, which means that all the air goes in, not out. They're sanitized in between each visit. So again, it is imperative that if you feel like you're having a heart attack or a stroke or anything else that's concerning and you consider emergency, come to the emergency department so that we can begin your treatment immediately.